everybody, it's your boy Tonio, uh, uh, this of the Hooligans Crew, Hooligans TV. Um, I'm here to talk about um, the path, the paths of di diagonal cars. Like, how do you start to try to figure out what's your problem with your vehicle? How they do it in a shop? How most shops do it? A lot of, a lot of technicians I know that are old school. They just know. You know what I'm saying? But the newer, the better, the newer the cars, the harder it's getting to di the diagonal cars. The newer the cars, or you're not just going to figure it out. You have a path to go on, and you have to go through that path. Sometimes the path is longer than most. Sometimes they're shorter. Sometimes you'll catch it right then. But if you walk if you walk the path, then, you know, you will see, you will find it within that path. You know what I'm saying? The real thing I mean my path, so, so say, you know, like, you got a problem with your charging system. You start at the battery. You go battery. Uh, you can either go battery, alternator. Then starter or battery starting off later. Whatever. Whatever you want to do, but it's all they're all in one path. It, the vehicle has its own sections. They're in sections. You got the charging system, cooling system, and then you got the engine itself. And the engine itself has its own systems. You know what I'm saying? So you just have to start with whatever problem you have. Okay, the car don't start. Don't go to the motor. Don't go to the starter. Don't go to start at the battery when it comes to the start starting problems. Go to the battery. See if your battery got enough coke cranking out. A lot of problem with the uh, push start vehicles is that if the amps are too low, even though it seems like everything comes on, the radio works, the people be like, oh, radio, I don't know what. If the if you press the button and it doesn't start up, if them amps are too low, it won't start the car. Will not start the car. You will have to either get that battery charged or get a new battery. And you cannot figure out if your alternator is bad until the battery is charged. You can't. You, those doesn't work like that. If you want, if you want to figure out if your your alternator is bad, make sure your battery is fully charged. And then you take a volt meter, you go down to the alternator and you test it and see if it's it's pushing out at 14 volts, not at 12, not at 11. It's got to be at least at 14. That's how you know that your alternator is good. Now it could be different for different uh, each vehicle, like checking the tra transmission fluid on American-made vehicles. From the ones I dealt with, you had to check the fluid while the car was um, running, or vice versa. The imports uh, when you when it's not running, who knows? Uh, it's different nowadays. BMWs you don't, don't even have a freaking oil stick for them. You got to check it through the dash. You see what I'm saying? Like everything's different. But my main thing here is telling you that you need to know the path. Like, know every pad. Every car has different sections for it. The suspension has its own sus own section. You know what I'm saying? Tires. You know, <laughs> it's, man, it's, it's crazy how many sections these vehicles have. So don't sit there and try to think that guessing is going to get you where you need to go. Because it's not. It's going gonna, it's gonna to put you in more trouble than you started with. And you'll be frustrated and then you'll be ready to sell the car. So... Keep building, family. Um, if you like, like the video, share it. You know, let people know about the Hoogan TV. Uh, I got, I got something coming up. Um, once he get the car ready, I got a, a badass car coming up. Uh, you know, I know you saw the last few videos, the Type R, the GTR. I got another one coming. Actually, I got a few more coming. I just had they got to get their cars ready. I got a Dodge. Viper truck coming that's fully built. He said it's, it's about at 1500 right now horsepower, so it's a beast. But it's 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 on a trailer right now. But he's gonna bring it by and let me uh let me take a look at it. Uh, so just keep watching, man, and uh, watch us grow. Stay uh, stay tuned and um have a blessed day and keep building, bro. Keep building, bro and sis. Keep building. Never stop building. Peace. Oh,